What's up gamers, it's Volt here with another video today and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys top 5 Poké Rides that need to be in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Now as you guys know Pokemon uploaded a Pokemon Presents a few days ago and revealed some information on previous and upcoming Pokemon games. One of the games they talked about is Pokemon Legends Arceus and one of the things they showed is Poké Rides or Pokemon Mounts are coming back. So for the people who are not familiar with Poké Rides, Poké Rides is a really cool future that was in Pokémon Sun and Moon and basically you can ride on Pokémon. It could either be you riding a Charizard through the skies or a Sharpedo on water. But anyways, let's start off with number 5, Palosand. I think Palosand could not only be a mount but also a Hisuian form. Also talking about Hisuian form, I made a top 5 about it so go ahead and check it out after this video. Please. So, Palosand's Hisuian form could be Palosand, but with snow. So, it's Palosnow now. The design will also be pretty unique, like Sandy Gas, now known as Snowy Gas, will become snow with a candy cane on top of its head rather than a shovel. Then, Palosand, now known as Palosnow, will be a snow castle instead of a sand castle. So the reason why I think this should be a mount is because in the Hisui region they showed beaches and snowy areas so I think it would be pretty cool to ride Palo Sand or Palo Snow through these places and if Game Freak is going to add a cool animation for these mounts then for Palo Sand it will be something like there's normal sand and when you call for Palo Sand it will use the sand and it will slowly transform into Palo Sand just like Sandman in Spider-Man 3. Now for Palosand or Palosnow's purpose is to find items in the sand or snow since it's a sand and snow Pokemon. Number 4 is Zebstrika. Now I was originally going to choose Rapidash but I felt like it shouldn't be a mount since it already has a regional variant and I was going to choose Mudsdale but it was already a mount in Pokemon Sun and Moon so I chose Zebstrika. Zebstrika because it was the only horse type of Pokemon I could think of and it would be very fast and a unique mount. Zebstrika could also get a Hisuian form, but I think it's better off without a Hisuian form. And if Zebstrika doesn't get a Hisuian form, then it should be a starter mount, which means it should be our first mount, and we should get it as a gift. Zebstrika's purpose is to move quickly and smash through large boulders to unlock new areas, and possibly a secret path to secret items. Number 3 is Macargo. Now with trailers and box art covers as evidence, we have this specific volcano that has been shown many many times and this volcano seems to have a purpose and become a core part of the story. I even feel like we will eventually go inside the volcano but of course how will we go there when there's lava and it's hot? Well, we can use Macargo to go through the lava. Most of Macargo's entries state that its body temperature is approximately 18,000 degrees F and normally lava's temperature is 2,000 degrees F which means Macargo can swim through lava. There are many Pokemon that can swim through lava but Macargo is an appropriate mount since you can sit on its shell and not get burned through the process. Of course, you can still get affected by the heat but maybe the professor or some NPC in the game will give you some sort of clothing or item that will help you withstand the heat. And finally, Macargo's purpose is to obviously swim through lava. Number 2 is Metagross. So the purpose for this mount is to dig through caves or dig through rocks to get items like Mega Stones if they are in the game. And I was originally thinking of Rhydon, but in Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, Metang was a mount, so I thought why not Metagross? I mean, Metagross is way cooler. Also looking at the map, there seems to be caves in the history region, especially in this special volcano. If Metagross is allowed to ride in the open world outside of these dark caves, then I think Metagross would be floating like a UFO and bringing you to places. Metagross has finally had its freedom. Finally, number one is Rayquaza. Now, I was originally not going to add this since I added this in my Pokemon Unite Top 10 and the reason I did is because I like Rayquaza. But I'm adding Rayquaza in this list not because I like Rayquaza, it's because it can be a possible mount. Now Arceus seems to be in the story and I feel like we might eventually go to space and the only Pokemon I can think of that lives in space is Deoxys and Rayquaza. And I feel like Rayquaza is a reasonable mount. Also in Pokemon Generations Episode 9, The Scoop had this mysterious trainer riding a Mega Rayquaza and in my opinion this mount would look really cool. 
And if we're not going to space, then Rayquaza could just be an event mount which you could ride in the skies. Maybe even Mega Rayquaza. And of course, Rayquaza's purpose as a Poke Ride is to fly to places. And it's not only going to be like Charizard, where it brings this creepy looking blue creature, and the next second you're here. It will be like how you can ride Latios and Latias in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but with better graphics. But anyways, thanks for watching today's video, and if you enjoyed this video, then please give this video a like, comment down below what Poke Rides you want to see in Pokemon Legends Arceus, and most importantly, subscribe if you want to see more Pokemon Legends Arceus content like this one. But anyways, thanks for watching today's video, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Till then, stay safe, and have an awesome day, gamers.